Hello everyone, I am Saida Sanke from Knowledge Institute of Technology. Now I am going to demonstrate our IBM Nalithiran project. My teammates, I am the team lead and my teammates are Gausale as Shobana as and Sudan R. Our use case falls on Internet of Things domain and our use case is personal lessons for who are self brilliant Our proposed solution is that to make a web-based application for the patients to remind the medication time and the reminders of the medicine what they have to eat on the right time. These missions are scheduled by the caretakers and as well as prescribed by the doctors. Coming to the development phase, we have completed all the four sprints and the, each of the sprints are completed by our teammates. Coming to the first sprint is the SMS notification. We used Qualio SMS service for sending the medication time to our patients to take the medicines on time. For example, my patient have to take their medicines after the food or before food. We will send SMS to their mobile phones or IoT device to take the medicines on time. Coming to Sprint 2 is the backend. The backend is built on Node.js. Commonly, the Node.js is a server-side programming language. And this, in this uh, server-side, we have used JavaScript for building the application. In this, that we have three configuration, app configuration, DB configuration, and SMS configuration. Coming to Sprint 3, uh, dashboard. The dashboard is uh, built in the React.js. React.js is the uh, responsible responsible uh, website for building the uh, modern website for this we have used html CSS, and javascript for building the front end and as well as also the react.js coming in the fourth sprint uh, fourth sprint is the database we used mangodb for storing the medication time and reminders to intimate to the patients by using the axios the unique identification method is used to fetch the I add medication time and reminders from the front end. A components of application, we have built this application in two manners, client and server. For clients, adding the reminders, deleting the reminders and scheduling the medication for the uh, patients. As a uh, side of the server, we use the uh, configuration, the DB configuration, SMS configuration. Uh, the server is the backbone of our website, uh, which are all the installation the process and sending the SMS to the all done in the server side. We have hosted this uh, application in our local machine, uh, client for 3000 and uh, server for 9000. Now I'm going to demonstrate how our application is going to work in real time application. I'm going to open my application in VS Code uh, to explain our code. Uh, this is a back, uh, this is a front end uh, app.js. All the services are used, Axios for calling the front end uh, uh, details and as well as the back end details. Uh, date and time is used to pick the date, uh, desired time to take their medicines on time. Uh, coming to the backend, uh, backend is uh, no index.js. In this, uh, we have used the MangoDB connect server to connect with the local host and as well also the uh, SMS certification using the toilet service. The app route is uh, whenever the users get reminder, add reminder, and delete the reminder, all the processes have been done in here. Uh, let me start our application in the terminal. I have started my uh, front end uh, using npm start via uh, react.js and uh, the back end is started with the node.js. This is our database structure reminders. Uh, yeah, whatever the reminder have been added to our uh, website, uh, the ID, I have also told that the unique identification is to identify the reminders. Now I'm going to add the reminder. This is our dashboard, a simple and a better way to add the remitters to their patients. My patient have to take the medicine after the food. Uh, my medicine is total 50. Take Dolo 650 after food. To get the information, uh, get, to, to get the SMS short in the short period, I'm going to set the time period of 24, 824. Whenever I click the add reminder, the reminder will be uh, added in the cards. Our database. The reminder is uh, fetched from the uh, front end with the unique identification, the what reminder message and the animate add. Uh, if our SMS is received, uh, it will be become true uh, till we have not received SMS. So this is, will be in the false.
let me cast my screen to get the SMS notification. My application has cast out successfully. Our, uh, let me delete our remaining rem uh, remainders. Let me add a new remainder. I'm going to delete this remainder. Setting the time to uh, 8.26. Let's wait for the SMS. Uh, it's has been 8.26. Let's wait. Uh, SMS will receive shortly. Yeah, we have received SMS. Take total duty after the food. Uh, successfully, our application has worked in the expected manner. Uh, we are using the value SMS service as a trial account because we have to pay some amount to the service. Uh, this is also our, our drawback, which means uh, we can present only the SMS to one users and one phone number which have to register in their account. To avoid this limitation, we have to pay some dollars to the accounts to avoid these limitations. This is our application. Uh, we can delete this remainder and the, whenever delta remainder, the database will be deleted. No remainders. Our future scope is that we will going to build this application for more users with the database of daily routine medicines. So, uh, so far now this application is only built for the single users. Uh, we can have a daily reminders and uh, we can have a, uh, notes of the medication time by the caretakers. Uh, this is our future scope. Uh, in the future, we will publish this application in a Heroku server and also NetLife for the open source software. Uh, thanks for your valuable time. Thank you.